Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do another cocktail out of the 1937 Cafe Royal cocktail book. A uh, great cocktail book. And today we're going to do something called The Showboat, um, credited as invented by J.W. Melish. This is a gin cocktail, and it's going to give us a chance to try out a couple of new gins. We've already used this one um, in a previous uh, cocktail. Completely escapes me whether we liked it or not. And this one is, a, is another gin that we've never tried before, a Gin de Montreal, or Montreal. Um, both of these we got in Quebec. So, uh, let's jump off and see what happens. I'm going to start out in this one with two ounces of the Gin de Montreal. And I'll put that over there so I remember which side is which. This uh, is Chemin Prise. Next in, it is orange juice. And then lemon juice. And then each cocktail gets an egg white. Um, and I've got fairly small eggs. My understanding is that a smaller egg would have been used in a cocktail uh, way back when. Very difficult to corroborate that information. So we'll get the white into each one of these. Okay, so this egg white is just not gonna separate. You will have to trust me that I put an egg white in the other cocktail. Oh, what a job. And yes, I got a little bit of shell in the other cocktail. That will come out when we strain it after the shake. It'll be fine, don't worry. Next we need some grenadine. Um, and this is our homemade grenadine. It asks for a dash of grenadine in each one. And so, dash is pretty hard. I'm gonna say it's that much. Check out our grenadine video elsewhere on the channel. And I'll ice and shake these one at a time. And so much is made about the idea of doing a dry shake whenever there's an egg involved in order to get some good foam. But I don't know, I think I got some good foam. The whole shaking thing, um, Depending on which cocktail book you look at from the 1930s, the 1800s, the 1920s, they all have a different idea of how to shake, why to shake. Some people say that you shake too lazy, and other people say that you shake too hard, and... I'm not sure what I walked in on. <laughs> hi friends, hi Glenn. The whole shake, I guess what I'm coming down to is the whole shake depends on what you like. Do you so want I more, guess you have to try want, it different ways. Yeah, do, you sure. want, do you want more dilution? Do you want less dilution? Do you want it colder? Do you want it warmer? Um, and every one of these, every one of these cocktail book authors has a different take on it. None they look of them, great none though. Of them are right. Yes. So um, two gin cocktails, one made with this one, the Rosemont gin. Oh, very nice. And one made from Chemin. What is that? Chemin Price or Priest. Priest? Okay, let's give it a go. Certainly is showboaty. <laughs> so much foam. Okay, so I don't really get any aroma. The foam on top is holding the aroma away. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're very different. In, in both instances, I think I would put more less lemon in it. A little bit For less. For me, yep. there's too much lemon. I dial the lemon back by half. But this one has a very distinctly different flavor to it. Yes. This is also a kind of cocktail that today, I would see a bartender dropping a couple of drops of bitters on the top, mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit of aroma. The gins are completely different. The cucumber. Yeah. It's the cucumber. So where this one is, is kind of this mix of fruit. Yep. Right, because this one has a, a very distinct blueberry 
it's, I remember this one having a blueberry, blueberry. Yep. Uh, flavor to it, but the lemon dominates. This one, I can, the cucumber jumps out and it's, yeah. it actually goes really nicely with the, with the citrus. Yep. Again, I'd probably put less lemon in it. Uh, this is a winning cocktail. Mm -hmm. This really is a winning cocktail. I like this a Both lot. Both ways. Just, in my case, less lemon. So, um, the showboat. Ah, and mm. the egg gives it just such an it incredible does change creamy, it. creamy, creamy. It does change the texture. Mm. There you go. Okay. And again, different gins. It's going to be a different cocktail every time you make it with a different gin. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.